all new tonight. Loudoun County Public Schools is working to make changes to how any future sexual assaults on school property are handled. Yeah, so previous failures led to multiple indictments by a special grand jury and now a federal investigation. A Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Max Marcilla joining us live tonight from LCPS headquarters in Ashburn and Max. This marks the latest in what's been a series of discussions since that special grand jury report was released. Yeah, and some of those discussions have led to policy changes. Tonight, we got a look at what could change for the officers stationed inside Loudoun County schools and how it could affect your students. The fallout from two sexual assaults in two different high schools by the same student put a spotlight on the issue in Loudoun County. As frustrations boiled over at school board meetings and eventually the school's previous superintendent and spokesperson were indicted. But for all the turmoil in the past, Monday's meeting between elected leaders in county government and on the school board, as well as staff from the county sheriff's office and Leesburg police was a step towards solutions. And that is an area that we've strengthened um, is communication between us, even in, in areas that's not required. It's not a requirement of us to make the notification. We're now making notifications. The group met to propose changes to the rules guiding school resource officers. The five elected officials voting to add a requirement for trauma informed training for law enforcement. You all are for more training. I think this is this will be beneficial. That training will be specific to interviewing minors who were victims of sexual assault. Also discussed when a student can be questioned. Right now, SROs can stop, question, and interview students without an okay from parents or the school's admin. I mean, you just need to watch the movie about the Central Park Five. That's the images that I have in my head when I see a blanket statement. Supervisor Julie Briskman wanted limits on when that can happen. It's a discussion committee members agreed needed to be had, though some pointed out there are instances where parental consent should not be needed. There are students who bring guns to school and start shooting. Um, I think law enforcement needs the flexibility to deal with situations that are serious and immediate without asking for parents' permission. And tonight we're also learning the Loudoun County Sheriff's Office does feel it is equipped and well staffed enough to handle the amount of sexual assault cases it receives not just uh, here in the schools but across the county. But it does say that if the numbers rise just a little bit more, they could go to the board asking for more money and more positions. Reporting live in Loudoun County, Max Marcella, DC News Now.